Y'all, I'm doing Bryce test today, and I think my baby has freaking COVID. What do you know? How about that? You got lice all this shit. Okay, y'all. I um had to sit down for a minute. I'm honestly about to take a nap really quick because one. I was about to, I wanted to, when I get stressed out, I want to eat. <laughs> That's just plain and simple. When I get stressed out, I want to eat, eat. So, my mind sprung ankle. Bryce got COVID and is putting a damper in all the shit that I had planned because V was supposed to come over today so we can film the first episode. But I have to push that off now because I have to be in quarantine. So I'm gonna have to think of something different in order to just do it myself. And I got sponsorships. I got three, four. This right here. This is four different sponsorships that I gotta do this week. I need to gather myself. I need to gather my strength. So I need to get some work done. Um, and I re keep refusing to even put on a damn wig, <laughs> but I'm going to take a nap so that I can redirect myself because honestly and truly y'all, I was about to eat and I got to pee. Y'all got to wait a minute. Hold on. <sighs> okay. I had a baby shower that I was supposed to go to on Saturday. And I was going to be all cute and have a good weekend. But now, I got a freaking quarantine. So, ugh. That threw a, ugh. That's why I got to take a nap. That is exactly why I need to take a nap. Because I had plans. I already ordered it. The baby shower is for my friend Kayla. If y'all know Kayla, that's the one who I always went hiking with. We always was out having adventures. She is having a baby boy. So I bought her gifts from her Target registry already. But I was going to go to the baby shower, which is going to be this weekend. And I was going to have a good time and dress up and be cute. But now I can't go because I can't risk people. Um, I think I won't be. They do the five-day thing now. So I won't be out of quarantine until Sunday. And I got to call Bryce's doctor, make sure he get his doctor's excuse. And then I'm not going to test myself today. I'm going to test myself tomorrow. But right now, I don't have no symptoms. I don't, I'm not sick. I feel okay. So we just going to pray it stays that way. And just pray that my little baby keep feeling pretty good. He don't feel... Whew, he don't feel as bad as his grandma and grandpa feels right now. She was like, hell, bring him over here and bring him over here so y'all can stay safe. But if I would have brought him over there, he would have been super sad. So he'll at least be at home with us, but he just got to be quarantined in his room. Um, he'll figure it out. And then on top of that, this little guy done put Q-tips all in the upstairs toilet. So the upstairs toilet is clogged because he put Q-tips all in. I'm like, why the f would you put Q-tips in the toilet, Bryce? So at the emergency room with one all morning, she got a sprung ankle. Then pick him up from school. Then come home to find out he got COVID. Then he put Q-tips. This happened had to be last night. Q-tips all in the goddamn toilet. So the toilet up there looking like something that exploded in it. It just looks gross and nasty. And then I got all this work to do. And um, I'm fasting. <laughs> So I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna take a nap. Why is this doing that? I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna call B and ask her if she can bring some orange juice and uh, I got chicken noodle soup, some orange juice, I got some honey. I'm gonna ask her, can she go to the store? 
for me and bring some stuff for my little baby. Some ginger tea and some stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to check in, <laughs> update y'all, and let y'all know what was going on. That's what's happening on the life of Lily. That's what's going down. I've been in this guy for about a week. And my little son son got the shit. He has COVID. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm not really hungry though. That's what's crazy. Like I'm not hungry, but I want to taste something. <laughs> you know how that is? Do y'all do y'all get what I'm saying? Like I'm not hungry, but I just want to taste something something let me just go get a piece of gum <sighs> that'll knock that out after today i got one more day i went this far you gotta keep going you gotta keep going you gotta keep going i'm in my group chat they so funny i love them i love when i do these water fasts and we just hold each other accountable everybody don't make it Literally, when I do this group chat, it can be 30 people. <laughs> out of the 30, probably five of them will go all the way through with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a challenge. And you don't have to feel bad if you can't complete it. And then it's the holiday season. So, nobody is going to be in damn trouble for not being able to complete a fast during the holiday season but I need to let myself know that I got some type of damn discipline some type of discipline so I'm eating also sugar free gum that's helping me and I'm gonna lay on my couch and take a nice help Okay, yeah, I'll just follow me at this point. Probably been the edit of a vlog. <sighs> Bye, y'all. Social media. What I did this morning was check my emails. I just um, signed a contract um, with a brand, and then I have like three brand things I need to. Hi, right, baby. So, um, I just came back in the house from taking ice on a walk. And now I'm about to bleach the notch to these wigs because I can't, I can't go on looking like this. All right, daddy. My daddy at the double, but he can't come in because of the situation with Bryce. So I left his food outside and I lights out the bed. So him ringing the doorbell was just saying, hey. So, um. I'm gonna bleach the knots to these wigs because I can't take it no more. I am completely over it. I feel like I've been looking crazy for so long and I gotta do something to my hair. The walk was a really good walk. Um, and today's vlog, today's vlog probably gonna be too, too freaking long. Because it's really nothing. It was kids, doctors, taking the test. And then I'm going to get ready to um, get in the shower again. Tomorrow will be probably a little bit more interesting. Because I'm going to probably do like a face routine or something. Because I got two big ass pimples on my face. It's hot in here. What you sitting in here for? What's up? Yeah. Huh? But yeah. Okay. That's it. That's the vlog. Yeah. Hey. I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga in the pieces Had to act some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties Bad bitch, still talking cash shit Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I would never trip on a nigga if I had him Bitch, that's my trash, you the bad, so you bad I'm a savage Classic, bougie, gadget Guys, 
Skirt Rising, Grey Rising. So it's Thursday and I'm actually about to take Bryce to his granny's house and um, go get him something to eat. Then come back and get to work because I told y'all I'm not going to be looking like this on the camera anymore. Oh my gosh, are y'all peeping? <laughs> PMSing is doing me some good, okay? Okay. Anyways, my baby not feeling too well. So I'm finna hurry up and get up out of here. I just wanted to check in. Woke up this morning, I was 206 pounds. So that means I only lost six pounds on this journey. This is my last day and I'm ready for it to be over with because I don't feel too good. Well, I feel okay. Actually, I'm not even hungry, but I just wanna eat something. So, yeah okay i lied y'all i told y'all that i was gonna have this scarf off by the time i got back to the vlog but no <laughs> i'm on line it's 4 44 in the afternoon i'm shopping on akira's site because they have a sale going on then they say i can get an extra 30 percent off and then I got like a 10% off thing. So, and the whole site is already on sale. Like I'm putting 10 to $20 shoes in my cart. Like I really just need some more shit in here, but I gotta kind of order stuff for this trip. And then on top of that, y'all, I looked up healthy um, meals on TikTok because honestly and truthfully, I got to get up tomorrow. So um, I looked up healthy TikTok meals and peach i'm gonna be cooking so much stuff after tomorrow i can't wait to eat my mouth is water and i had to get off of tiktok because i was just falling i was going down the rabbit hole looking at that like I, it was just like girl stop looking at it while you can like get yourself together go on to the grocery store tomorrow in the morning get the shit you need i already took my chicken out of my freezer because i got a new air fryer which is going to be a video coming on my new air fryer soon and I'm going to make me a good meal in my air fryer. And it's going to be a healthy meal. Because I know how y'all girls like to tussle down in the comments. Talking about I only make like, you know, shit that make me gain all this weight. Which that's true. But I done found a whole bunch of meals that can help me. And then because my body is already in ketosis, it's just going to be good. So I'm going to do high fat, low carb. And I'm just going to run it that way. But I'm looking... These are kind of cute. They only twenty dollars. Oh, twenty dollars. I gotta get them. Add to cart. So really, I've been doing a lot of shopping. <laughs> um, booked some trips. What else? Um, answered some emails. I'm pretty much almost booked for November. Um, and I'm about to start working on December sponsorships. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Now I'm at the end of this. Let me see what my total is before I do any of these discounts. My total is 160. 160. What a damn... Hold on. Okay, it say extra 30. Hold on, let me get it together. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I'm entering the promo code extra 30, and let me see what it say. It was 160. Oh, okay. <laughs> Total is 112, and I got one, two, three, four pair of shoes in a bag i got four pair of shoes in a bag and my total coming out to 112 dollars so i want to spend 150 so therefore i'm gonna go add something else mm-hmm mm -hmm. very much so and i got another coupon but i fell in love with this purse right here let me see if i can show y'all can y'all see this Look at that. Like, girl, I'm a slay. 
Good morning, y'all. Great rising, great rising. So, I didn't change the fucking battery. I'm at the gas station. Yes, I'm in the back seat of my car, and I'm trying to figure out what's in here causing the smell. <sighs> but I left. Okay, baby. So I actually had took y'all with me to the store, but I told y'all I left the freaking camera battery. I didn't change the camera battery. I be having to think about what I'm gonna say. So before I end this vlog off, because I'm gonna go ahead and end it, I'm going to do my measurements. Which I don't know how good that's going to go because I just ate a Subway sandwich. Um, I still weigh the same amount. I still weigh 206, so that's good. And this whole thing, I lost about six pounds. But I'm going to go ahead and do my measurements. Oh, shit, I don't got no drawers. <laughs> I was going to show y'all some of that thing. <laughs> but let me do this. And I'm going to just pull this up like this. And we can do it like this. Okay. So, I lost the inch on my waist, which is good. So, I'm at 33. Um, my butt, oh, my butt actually lost the inch too. It's at 49. I had to make sure there was no pad in this. Okay, and this is at 38. Dang, so I lost three inches and in everything. I lost an inch and in everything, and I lost six pounds. So that is pretty freaking good for me. Um, I enjoyed the water fast. When I put my first piece of food in my mouth, it feel like I can taste the flavor and everything. Like I just ate a tuna sandwich from Subway, and the first thing I put in my mouth was a salad, and I was actually able to eat the salad plain. With the first couple of bites because the lettuce tasted so freaking good. The tomatoes, I could taste everything. And then I had some of the Olive Garden Italian dressing. That shit tasted amazing. So that was the first thing. And then when I just ate this tuna sandwich, it's like I tasted all the fucking salt in the sandwich. So what I wanted to accomplish has been accomplished. I got on TikTok and I made me a new album. Let me show y'all real quick. And my new little album, these are all my little collections on TikTok. And on this one, I put healthy recipes. And in this album, I got all the healthy recipes that I'm going to try. So I went and got the ingredients for this today, which is a, a baked uh, air fried chicken meal. It's going to be lit. And then I got the ingredients for this as well. So we got a lot of stuff that we getting ready to do. So that's what this stuff over here is. And... I'm trying recipes that still got flavor. I told y'all I was just trying to stick to the low carb stuff. I'm not go. I'm not the one that <laughs> that counts macros, micros, all that shit. I can't do all that. I can just only try my best, and I feel like trying my best is, is by making my food at home and just trying to portion control. If that makes sense, that's me. I did go on a morning walk this morning with ice. It was only like 15 minutes, but it was better than what I've been doing. And I actually felt really good um, doing it. And as far as the overall water fast, day one was good. Day two, I had to push myself. Day three, I actually woke up and I wasn't hungry. I didn't get hungry until about five yesterday. And it was just like, oh my gosh, this needs to hurry the hell up. So, I told my group chat, like, y'all listen to y'all body. You know, do what you need to do. If you get in, like, most of them didn't get no headache until, like, the last day. But I really feel like it's a mind over matter thing. Because when I woke up this morning, I wasn't even hungry. Like, I didn't get hungry until my eating window opened up, which is at 12. And now I just feel like I can continue on my journey. And I can just continue, you know, um, gradually finding new ways to live a overall healthier lifestyle one thing that i do notice with this water fast is that i didn't poop like i did with my other water fast and i feel like that's because i didn't detox i did not drink detox tea not one time throughout this water fast and i also wasn't drinking the correct amount of water throughout this water fast usually y'all know i have my gallons and i'm like chugging 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 
I was pretty much dry fasted because I wasn't thirsty. I wasn't doing shit. So overall, I'm just happy that I did fast. I'm happy that I showed myself that I do have discipline and I'm happy that I showed myself that I can do what I put my mind to. So now it's just about trying to switch up my eating. Um, I want to cook more at home. I want to eat um, healthier. It is the holidays, but that ain't stopping shit. And then that can work me up into getting back into my workout routine. I want to put some workout stuff out in my garage. So yeah. Um, I'm going to show y'all the stuff I got from, no, I'm not. I'm going to start that on the next vlog. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> You're going to have to go to the next vlog to see that. So, overall, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I will see y'all on the next one. Baby.